Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 7. So we want to solve the equation for sine x equals sec x for x between 0 and pi over 2. So the first thing to notice is that sec x is equal to 1 over cos. So if we change that, multiply both sides by cos x, gives us 4 sine x cos x equals 1. Now if we use the double angle formula, we can change the left side into 2 sine 2x. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us that sine 2x equals a half. And so 2x must equal pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Dividing by 2 gives us answers of pi over 12 and 5 pi over 12. Now for part 2, we want to solve the equation 5 sine theta minus 5 cos theta equals 2. And the best way to do this is to convert that left hand side into the form r sine theta minus alpha. So to do this, we know that r is equal to the square root of the squares of the two coefficients. So square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared equal to square root 50. And tan alpha is equal to the coefficient of sine over the coefficient of cos, so 5 over 5. And if tan alpha is equal to 1, then alpha must be 45 degrees. So we can convert that left hand side into root 50 sine theta minus 45, and that's equal to 2 according to our question. Dividing both sides by root 50 gives us sine theta minus 45 equals 2 over root 50. Inverse sine gives us that theta minus 45 is equal to 16.4 and 163.6. And adding the 45 on gives us answers of 61.4 degrees and 208.6 degrees. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.